James Risen, one more time, the ICRC, uh, the International Committee of the Red Cross, turning to a U.S. general de or demanding an investigation of this uh, right at the time or soon after this happened and being turned down. You mentioned this earlier. Yes. Yeah, I mean, what I don't uh, was not given the identity of the uh, military commander that they talked to. It was uh, described as a military commander in the U.S.-led coalition, not necessarily an American. Uh, but it was, uh, I think, fairly soon after the incident, and uh, the way it was described to me was they got zero response from the military commander. And we're if I could just add one we other, we have ten point. seconds. I just want. Oh, I was just going to say something. I, th I think it's still it's very unclear what U.S. personnel knew at the time, and I think the investigation should focus rather on what happened afterwards uh, in the Bush administration. James Risen of the New York Times, Susanna Serkin of Physicians for Human Rights. Thank you so much. I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks for joining us.